With very minimal competition in the golfing genre back in 2010, Long John decided that he should lead the forefront in trying to topple the oh-so-mighty Tiger Woods PGA Tour franchise. But did he succeed? What's going on guys, Snickle here, and in this video, I'll be walking you through how to platinum John Daly's Pro Stroke Golf on the PlayStation 3. This game is very unfair and has the graphics of an early PS2 game, so this guide will give you some insight on how to platinum the game in the most stress-free manner. I do want to make note that as of the recording of this video, I am the second most recent person to platinum the game, which is on January 14th, 2017. There should be no spoilers as the game has no story, so there is nothing to spoil. This guide is meant for anyone that hasn't or has played the game. If you haven't played the game before, I would advise not to unless you want to punish yourself, but this guide will help you get through that punishment. As for a breakdown of the trophy list, it consists of 28 bronze, 11 silver, 3 gold, and of course 1 platinum with a total of 43 trophies. There are no missable trophies and everything in the game can be replayed. Two trophies are online and as of the recording of this video, they are still obtainable. There is one trophy that is technically considered couch co-op, but you can do it with just one controller. You will have to beat John Daly through four types of challenges on multiple different courses. There are 14 trophies related to having to beat him in these challenges. 14 trophies are also related to the tours that you unlock after beating Long John's challenges. There are a total of 7 trophies that I would consider incidental, meaning that you'll earn these while just playing through the challenges and tours. And lastly, there are 4 trophies that you may need to look up some sort of guidance in order to get. Down in the description below, you'll find a few useful links. One link will lead you to my breakdown of the trophy list and another to a multiplayer trophy guide that I created. You will also find any other links that I think will be useful as well and a full list of the order that I specifically earned my trophies. Before we even get into the guide, I want to say that you shouldn't attempt this game if you know nothing about golf or have no interest to learn. Even though the game is complete garbage, you do need to have knowledge of wind speeds, ball speed, and just understand the general jargon of golf. You could still get through the game and get the platinum without knowing this knowledge prior, but it would take significantly more time to platinum. Anyway, there are two general ways to play through the game. The first is to beat John Daly in all of his challenges, which I will go into these challenges in another section, and then complete the corresponding tour event that is related to that course. The other way to get through the game is to beat John in all of his challenges in each course, and then go back and do all the tour events. Either way would work, but I would personally suggest to do the way of beating John first and then playing the corresponding course immediately after so you can remember the layout of that course. To me, this seems the most efficient way to get through the so-called story mode of this game. In the upper right hand corner, you will see the trophy tracker. When this reaches 43 out of 43, you should have collected every trophy in the game and successfully earned your platinum trophy. With all of that being said, let's head out into the links. To start off each tournament, you will need to beat John Daly in a set of four challenges on each course. A nine hole long drive challenge, nine hole closest to the pin challenge, nine hole putting challenge, and finally a nine hole matchup. A majority of these challenges are easy besides the closest to the pin. The game will downright cheat sometimes with John hitting absolutely absurd shots and getting within inches of the pin on every hit. Also, the wind in the closest to the pin challenges can prove to be a true headache. It might say that the wind is 5 miles an hour to the west, but when you set up your shot for that wind condition, the ball won't react anywhere close to the way you were expecting the wind to take the ball. The good thing is that even though John can cheat sometimes on these challenges and decimate you, there are points in the game where he will downright suck. These are random. You might do a challenge one try and John is amazing, then within the next try of the same challenge, he may completely tank every shot he takes. For the most part though, this is bearable and you can make it through here without a hitch. There are some frustrations involved, but it's nothing like what's going to come later on. Once you beat John in all four of the challenges prior to unlocking a tournament play, you'll earn the trophies for beating John Daly and then beating John Daly on each course. Next, we'll get into the tour challenges that you'll be presented with after beating all four of John Daly's challenges. Now, these challenges are very simple until you get to the last three courses. The goal here is to win every single tournament because you will need to in order to get the trophy World Champion, which is to win all 12 tournaments. The first nine tournaments you will breeze through and all of the challenges for them are extremely easy. The last three tournaments, the ones where you're forced to place first in order to get the challenge done, are absolutely broken. These three tournaments will test all of your skills in the game while testing every nerve in your body. 
the computer will hit ridiculous scores throughout the tournament and will never back down. You essentially have to birdie every single hole throughout the tournaments in order to win, and that wouldn't be a problem if the wind in the game wasn't completely broken. The best advice I can give to get through these tournaments is that if you're struggling or you're very close to beating one but you just can't beat it, set the game down for a minimum of a day and take a break. Come back rejuvenated and hopefully you'll be able to get through and get lucky. At least this is what I did. This ended up happening to me within the last two tournaments. I was breezing through the whole game, but when I hit the last two, I had a huge wake up call. If you do happen to win all of these tournaments, then you'll earn yourself 13 more trophies. These seven trophies are what I would consider incidental, meaning that you'll more likely earn these while playing through the game. It includes trophies like Driving King, which is to hit a ball farther than 320 yards, to other trophies like Birdie, which is to finish a hole one shot under par. If you are able to get through all the tournaments and challenges in the story mode, then you will earn these trophies no problem at all. If you want to see what trophies in particular I put in this section, be sure to check the trophy breakdown link in the description below. That breakdown will clear up any issues or questions that you might have with the selection and placement of these trophies. Now on to the random trophies in the game. There are a total of four that I would put under this section. These are trophies that you probably will not accidentally earn, but if you do, you are extremely lucky. They range from trophies like Pin High, which is to hit the flag with an approach off of the green, to trophies like First Ace, which is to score a hole in one. Some might take a little time and effort, but for the most part, they are pretty easy to do. And again, if you are lucky enough, you will probably get these done while playing through the story mode. If you want to see what trophies I included in this section, then be sure to check the trophy breakdown in the description below. There is one trophy that I would consider couch co-op, even though you can do it with one controller and all by yourself. The trophy is Two's Company, which is to play in a pairs match. This takes a total of four players, but you can play as all four players and only need to have one controller. Now let's get into the last section, which is the online. There are a total of two trophies. The trophies are Perfect Host, which is to host and play a four-player online match, and Predator, which is to win an online match. Obviously, you'll need four players in order to earn one of the two trophies, but you can just knock them out at the same time. It's as simple as finding four people, then letting each person take a turn hosting and winning a match. It sounds simple enough, but the hardest part is finding three others that own the game. All I can advise is to set up a session on PSN Profiles and keep extending the day until you find three others. I was extremely lucky when I saw the session the day I got my trophies. Just keep trying and you'll find people. Just also know that you'll more than likely won't find people overnight. With all of that being said and getting done, if you made it to this point and got all the other trophies, then you will earn your Platinum Trophy Conqueror. I'll have to say, if you're able to find this game, then good for you, since I've rarely seen it in many of the stores that I go to, but if you're able to find other people that own the game, that's an even bigger achievement. To answer the question at the beginning of the video, did Long John have a shot at taking down the Mighty Tiger in the digital world? The best way to answer that is no, he wasn't even close. This game can give quite a headache later on with a difficulty curve that spikes extremely fast. If you're able to push through and win those final few tournaments, you'll be in the clear for the actual difficult part of the game. Just want to give a brief summary of the way that I would suggest going about getting this Platinum. Simply complete John Daly's challenges, then the corresponding tour event simultaneously so that you know the layout of the course before moving on to the next. You should earn a majority of the other trophies while playing through the game, and do the online whenever possible. This game can take around 20-30 to 30 hours to Platinum depending how good and comfortable you are with playing golf games. There's fortunately no DLC in the game, so when you get the Platinum, you'll obtain the 100% completion as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. Also, let me know below if you have had any experiences with the game. Did you even know it exists, or have you always seen it and you wondered what all the hype was about? If you did find this video helpful though, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see the breakdown of the trophy list, you can find the link to that in the description below. I have a bunch more of these videos in the description below as well in my How to Platinum playlist. If you want to suggest anything, then be sure to leave it below. Just remember that I only make these videos on games that I've actually platinumed so that I can give insight and proper information without misleading anyone. Anyway, I hope to see you around sometime soon.